Hey what is up everyone, I'm Starlord and today I'm going to be showing you all of the new creatures that you can find in the new Nuka World DLC. There are a couple of old friends who are returning, either they look the same or a little bit different, but they are returning and we do have some altogether new creatures just for this DLC. I think you guys will be pleasantly surprised. Now also guys, I would like to say if you are looking for Nuka well guides, tips, glitches, all that kind of stuff, make sure you go and check out my channel as after this video, the next couple of days, I will be rolling out a heap load of guides. Okay, so let's get in to looking at these new creatures. Okay, so starting off with the ones that you see from the trailers, here we have the Gator Claws. Yes, that's what they're actually called, and damn, do they look awesome. This is actually an albino one, and over here to my right, we have the regular looking one. They are pretty fierce, I've got to admit. I did have a lot of trouble battling these guys, but you know what? They're pretty cool anyway. You will see that they do have this kind of electric static that comes off them and it actually, you know, works to their advantage. So they do deal a lot of damage and they are pretty hefty enemies to go up against. Now moving on, we also have the crickets. I don't really know the names of different ones, but there are different variants of these cr crickets even. And um, they look pretty cool, I've got to be honest. I love the horns and the spikes on them. Especially these ones over here. That color variant is amazing. Look at that, guys. And those fucking guys. Those piercing guys. Moving on, we also have, you know, the glowing variants of them. And they are pretty cool. They actually deal a lot of more damage compared to those ones over there. But yeah, very fierce enemies indeed. Again, moving on, just another one. And you will see the Bloodworms from the trailer. Yes, that's what they're called. And because I do have them on a kind of, you know, calm status at the minute, they won't actually open up, which is unfortunate. But we will get to see them battle later on. They look pretty cool when they're lying there like that. And there are variants of this monster. There isn't just, you know, these two looking ones. There's a lot of different variants of it, different colors. But yeah, this is genuinely what the scariest ones look like. Now moving on, I guess you guys will be very happy about this. We have the Quantum Death Claws. Yes, Quantum Death Claws. Look at that glow, guys. It's so good. And that's actually partially the reason why I have my light, like, very dark. I would normally have it very bright, but yeah, just to show off this awesome glow of these new Death Claws, I thought that I would put it a bit darker. They just look absolutely amazing. I know you get the chameleon death claws and also you get the glowing death claws but damn these these really do look like something else and uh, they are pretty furious they really are they they're pretty hard to go up against if I'm honest. Now moving on again somewhere back here we have these you also saw these from the trailer these are actually the aliens and I can confirm to you guys right now that they are robots they're just there for you know kind of entertainment reasons but they do attack you you cannot pick up their weapons unfortunately but uh, yeah they look pretty good they have like a bit of a smaller head from the ones that you see in this game they kind of look like they've been retextured and modeled like the ones that you see in fallout 3 i guess from the uh motherhood zeta i i believe it's called i forget but um they do look pretty cool and they are electronic you know if you want to actually kill them you can and uh yeah let's move on now, I didn't really put much thought into bringing all of the robots from the trailer. There are so many robots in this DLC who want to kill you. This one is the more notable one. It actually shoots out these kind of nuka blasts from these two nuka looking, I guess, kind of weapons. And um, they are pretty hard to go up against. I've got to be honest, I was having real trouble trying to kill these. They are very difficult to kill if you're very early on in the game. But there are lots of robots in this game, guys. I didn't have time to go all through them, but yeah, rest assured, this isn't the only one. There is so many more to actually come up against. Now, moving on, we actually have the gazelles. And these are not ghoul gazelles or anything. These are just gazelles. That's what they're called. Even though, you know, they're deformed and they kind of look like the deers, uh, they just call them gazelles, really, which is kind of weird. This one doesn't even have eyes. That's fucking creepy as hell. Hello, Barry. Um, but yeah, 
Very cool creatures. They do attack you, I believe. I don't think that you ever find any calm ones walking around in the wild. Uh, but they do look very cool. And they are the only variants I've came up against. I didn't even find any more in the console commands. Now, let's move on a little bit more to these guys right here. Now, you guys are probably thinking, well, they just look like the gorillas from the base game. Well, no, they're actually very different. These are ghoul gorillas. Well, this one is the Gorilla King. Gorilla King. And, um, yeah, you meet them a little later in the DLC. And I've got to be honest, they're pretty cool. And the quest that comes along with them is equally as great, I've got to admit. Uh, just amazing creatures, I've got to be honest. And they look so scary. They really do. They look like something out of the Planet of the Apes, if I'm honest. Yeah, look at those eyes. Damn. Okay. Moving on over here, we have this thing. Yes, we have the Nuka Lurk family. Look at that right there. We have the Nuka Crawlfish or whatever it's called. I forget, but look at that glow. We also have the Nuka Lurk Queen. Sorry, it's going to take me a while to get used to this. I'm so used to calling them Meyer Lurks, but um, she is pretty, pretty hefty indeed. Took me a while to kill her too. Moving on, we also have the little baby spawns of them. You know, they pop out of the eggs. And again, we have, you know, the Nuka Lurk King, which has the amazing blue glow there. Just so good. I love the glow on these animals. They're so, so cool. But again, we see a fan favorite from, I believe it was Fallout 3, the uh, Nuka, the Nuka Lurk, just the base one. And they decided to actually, like, add them onto these creatures here, the glow. Uh, but still very awesome creatures indeed. Now here is a familiar one that you will see in the DLC trailer again. There is two different variants of this animal. I forget for the life of me what it's actually called. But they are very hostile. They do not leave you alone. They like to attack you straight away. This one is I guess the short haired variant or the short horned variant. You actually get one which has the very large horns like you see in the DLC trailer. But um. They are pretty hard to come against, I've got to be honest. And I think if we just move back here, we actually get... I, I forget what the name of these are, but they're like... Rad Rats, I believe. Yeah, Rad Rats. This is the infected variant, you know, with all the bubbles and stuff like that on them. They are insane. Very easy to kill, mind. And also, we have the pups. These are the little babies. Oh, look at that one. He's looking at me. Hey, what's going on, little buddy? What's going on? I'm going to kill you later. But, um... Yeah, guys... And moving back, obviously, we have the full set. Now, I've got to be honest, guys, there are more different animals in this game. There are a couple of different variants that I haven't shown off today. I don't want to completely show you everything. There are obviously a couple of new ghouls about. And like I said, I didn't want to show off everything as I didn't really know how to get them here other than console commands. And I couldn't find them in the console commands. But um, you got to admit, these new creatures are pretty darn impressive especially this one i cannot get over how awesome it is only if there was a quantum version of it if there is i definitely haven't seen it yet but um definitely amazing and i will be doing a video later on this week showing off you know this the um gator the gator claw versus the death claw and uh, i cannot wait to show you guys that but for now we're gonna actually see these guys battle so yeah let's uh let's check that out Okay guys, so I'm all set up right now and I'm going to take off my console commands to allow them to actually battle and hopefully this will go exactly the way I plan. Let's try it right now. Okay, yes, there you go. The fucking crocs already kicking ass. Oh my god, jumping at that death claw. The death claws are already dead. Oh my lord, the croc went flying or the death claw even, the quantum death claw. Damn. This is pretty amazing. I, this is the first time I'm doing this right now. And I'm watching it live. Doing my commentary live, I guess. But that Nuka... Oh, shit. The Queen just... Oh, shit. The Queen! Oh, shit. There's actually one more Deathclaw left. Let's uh, just move around a little bit so we can see. That Nuka Lurk over there is putting up quite a battle with those, with those Croc Claws, I guess. It's very hard to remember all the names. And the croc closed down. And the second one is down. Oh my god. The nuka lurks are actually killing. Oh my lord. Where is the death claw? That's what I want to know. 
Where is that death claw? Let's just check around here. It's running! It's running! Oh my god! Well, guys, I think we have it. The new quantum, the new quantum animals are pretty darn hefty. That death claw is just running from his life, and the 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 the, the nuka queen is just splurting his stuff. She's a squirter. We got a squirter. <laughs> but yeah, guys. Uh, thank you all very much for watching this video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, then please remember to leave a like and make sure you go and check out my channel for more Nuka World guides, videos, and all that other kind of cool stuff. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya! And there you have it, guys. Right there on the floor is your third issue of Scav Magazine. Nice. So let's move on to the fourth issue.